Shut up! You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up my YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan, and I just wanted to make a quick 3D printing video. Not so much focusing on what I printed, but what I printed with. I picked up some glow-in-the-dark PLA filament from Amazon. Actually, I got three of them here. Um, I will link all of these down in the description, as well as the link to Thingiverse for these little ghosts by Gela. Um, what I wanted to do was kind of just print identical objects out of these three different uh, glow-in-the-dark filaments to compare them. I thought if they're all identical, then there's no other little variable or anything. They'll all look the same, and we can kind of judge which one glows better and which one doesn't. So anyway, I downsized these a little bit just for the quickness of the print. These were either... These are either 75% of the like native file or 50%. I can't remember, but they're, they're super cool. Like I'm going to do more of these full size, but they've got a little pedestal here at the bottom. I actually printed the pedestal out in black just to kind of hide it. So it looks like in the dark, the ghost is just floating there. And there's threads that will screw into the bottom of the ghost. And then that way you don't have to glue it or anything. It just screws in nice and tight and then whoops sorry my hands not that flat there you go so anyway um i've got standard glow in the dark right here blue glow in the dark i actually had to mark it blue because in certain lighting you can't see the difference in color there i know it looks obvious which is weird because this looks kind of blue right now and this looks more glow in the dark color but i promise you this is the blue and then this was kind of cool. It's a little bit clear, but it's supposed to have little sparkly uh, glow-in-the-dark bits in it. So I thought that would be kind of fun to try out. Now, one thing I noticed, though, when I printed these three ghosts out, when I was feeding in the, uh, the sparkly PLA, it's a lot less forgiving. Um, it actually snaps really easy. See, it breaks off, whereas this stuff is very very flexible i mean you can almost bend it completely look at i've kinked it and it didn't break but this stuff snaps very very easy so if you decide to use this be very careful um now i'll go ahead and show you the still shot i took of these three ghosts in the dark so you can see the standard glow in the dark the blue and then the sparkly uh I think that's what they call the sparkly or fairy glitter or something. Anyway, um, I definitely like the idea of the blue glow in the dark. I just because it's different. But as you can see from that picture, the standard glow in the dark is by far the best one, and I've already experienced that. I've done some other stuff with the glow in the dark filaments, and my opinion is the glow in the dark, the actual glow in the dark greenish color, the standard glow-in-the-dark color is by far the best it it picks up and charges with very little light it's brighter it's just it's better it's better for the glow-in-the-dark effect i love the idea of the blue though and it's not horrible but it's just not quite as like active or lively as the regular glow-in-the-dark color and then i'll have to say the glow-in-the-dark aspect of the glittery green is kind of a disappointment it's a little bit harder to get the glow-in-the-dark effect. Um, but the one upside is, is you can get, I don't know how the lighting's gonna look here on the camera, but it's got much more of a crystal kind of look to it. And I don't know if that's just because it's kind of a clearer PLA with the glow-in-the-dark bits in it. Like you can't even see the little glow-in-the-dark fragments in this, whereas I don't know if, yeah, you can't see it in the filament uh, either, but it's got a very cool crystal like look to it so this could be useful for other things so i wouldn't say this is a must if you're going for the glow in the dark look i would set that stuff aside it does not look as good in real life as it does in the amazon ad just keeping it real um the blue the blue is cool i like the blue but my verdict is the standard glow in the dark you just can't replace it it is the best of all the glow in the dark plas um, and that's it. I think that covered it. I will put, like I said, links to everything down in the description. I love glow in the dark stuff. Like I've already ordered another roll of the glow in the dark filament just because I want to do more and, uh, maybe something bigger. I'm thinking a glow in the dark Slimer that would take up the whole print, 
print bed, print bread. Uh, I think that'd be pretty sweet. And I've already actually like done it in Cura and it takes like two and a half days to print. So once we're done with the little like mask straps and stuff that I've been printing out, I think we might have to tackle that. And I've got another large item uh, in the back of my head too that I may or may not have already started as well. But anyway, enough talking. Um, thanks for hanging out. I just thought that was kind of a, a fun little comparison to do with all the different glow-in-the-dark filaments. Um, like I said, I would order them glow-in-the-dark, glow-in-the-dark blue, and then the glow-in-the-dark sparkle or whatever it is um, in that order as far as my preference. But um, anyway, I've still got a ton of blue left, and I've got a ton of the clear sparkle left. So I'm, I'm going to use these up. I don't want to waste them or anything. But uh, yeah. So anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope everybody is healthy and well, and uh, see you soon. You know, sir, it's Cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, he's bigger than any superstar. All of us bitch, you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Okay.